sunny day outside. I hope you're all staying safe. Okay, today we're going to do creme brulee, vanilla creme brulee. And again, it's very, very simple to make. Not many ingredients, actually four ingredients. Egg yolks, sugar, some whipping cream, and vanilla, fresh vanilla. Um, so we'll go through the process, but wash my hands first just to make sure it was clean. Okay, very, very simple. Um, creme brulee is just basically like a set custard with a caramel on top. So we're going to serve this with raspberries. So all we've got here is in the saucepan here, just come to a simmer, is 500 ml of whipping cream. Um, and you don't want it to come to a boil, a fast boil, just a simmer. Just a very, very gentle bubble. But in that, we're going to use a fresh vanilla pod. These are quite expensive, they're probably 150 for a full vanilla pod. Um, but they're worth it. And what you do is just cut down the middle and scrape out lovely wee seeds in the middle. Just scrape them out. Don't waste any of them because as I say they are quite expensive. And then just put the whole lot, the stick and the seeds into the brulee and just let that come to a simmer. Don't boil it, very very important, don't let it boil. So we'll start the custard. So what it is is six egg yolks. Sorry, in here first I've got 150 grams of castor sugar. And we're going to add six egg yolks. So I say basically it's just a, a set custard but they are they are lovely. I hope you've all tried the scones. Um, I hope they went down well. I'm actually going to add seven yolks to this here because these yolks, just when I'm cracking them, are very, very small. So I'm going to add seven. But these are sort of standard eggs. Um, but the yolks are very small. Just make sure your cream doesn't boil over because it'll create a mess. You don't want that. Four. And I say if you have any requests for any food, any dishes that you would like me to show you how to cook, more than welcome, send us a message. These yolks are lovely and orange. Just put one more in because I say they are very, very small. But I'll put the recipe up online. Um, okay. So that's the yolks and the 150 grams of sugar. So you just want to whisk that. You don't have to whisk it too much because I say the, the cream is going to dissolve the sugar. So just give it a couple of minutes of whisking. And then what we're going to do is pour the cream. Again, don't boil the cream, just bring it to small, small bubbles. And just as you pour the cream in, just whisk it. basically your custard made. If you were making fresh custard, you would put that back in the pot, in the pan, and sort of cook it slowly to about 80 degrees, and you will get fresh custard. Same principle. So what we're going to do here now, is pass this through a sieve. And again, all the vanilla will go through We'll go through it. Um, it's just getting any wee bits of egg that maybe I've sort of cooked. And then what we're going to do, you'll notice there's a sort of skim, a scum on the top. Just take that off with a ladle. And 
It is important you do this because this sort of, when you cook this, it'll create a crust that you don't really want. You want a really smooth custard. So you can make these early in the morning, they'll be ready. You mean they'll be ready in an hour, but you can make them during the day and they'll be ready for that night. Or they'll be fine the next morning. Sorry, the next night. So basically that's it. That's the custard. And what we're going to do is set the oven to 100 degrees. And these ramekins sort of medium sized ramekin and just fill them up. This rest will probably make five or six depending on the size of your ramekins. Again all the vanilla is in there. It's um hasn't gone anywhere. It's not in the So that'll actually make five. There's all the, the vanilla at the bottom there. Just spread it evenly out among them. I say it's important to, to skim that off. So then we're just going to put these in the oven. They'll probably take 45 minutes to an hour. But I'll show you when they're ready. And what you can do with the, the vanilla pod that's left and used, just give it a rinse. And dry it, just let it dry somewhere, just so it's completely dry, and then just put that in your sugar, in your caster sugar, and it will flavour your sugar. Okay, so that's the custard made in the oven. Approximately 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Um, I'll tell you when they're. I'll show you when they're ready. So a small wobble, um, and then we'll come back later and we'll glaze them. Okay. Thank you. Right, folks. The brilliance have had an hour in the oven now um, at 100 degrees. So I've checked them a couple of times, but what you want is just a slight wobble in the in the middle. When you see the wobble, that's it ready. So they're ready now. So what you do is put them in the fridge, two, three hours um, to let them set up. And then what you do is bring it out about half an hour before you want to eat it. Um, so it just comes up with a wee bit of a temperature. And if you see any moisture on top, just pat it with a wee light tissue because the moisture and the sugar it, uh, it'll just burn. So just pat it gently with a, a little bit of a tissue. There's two ways of doing it. There's a good way, which is this, and there's using a, a hot grill. It's fine, but I wouldn't recommend it because it starts to cook the custard in below the sugar because it needs to be done really, really quickly. So I'm going to show you the, the blowtorch way. You need a bit of confidence to do this. Um, it is straightforward, but I would advise you to be careful. So all you need is caster sugar. Just maybe a teaspoon and a half of caster sugar. And just push it round to the outsides. Just make sure it's coating the outside. No, you don't want any more than that. Okay, and if you want to put it in a cloth, by all means do. And then just with the blowtorch. If I can get it on. You don't want a full, full fast flame, but just hold the flame and just turn, turn it in your hand, hold it at an angle, and you'll see the sugar just starting to caramelize there. It's just starting to caramelize, but sort of turn it round. I'm actually going to set this down because I find it easier in the hand. You see it's just starting to caramelise there now. I'd be very careful. 
obviously it's hot. Um, just keep twisting it around in your hand until it's sort of completely covered. And that's it. And obviously, obviously let that cool for five minutes, it'll be okay. And today we're going to serve it with some raspberries. So just let that cool sort of a few minutes. I'm just going to decorate it here with some fresh raspberries. And the combination of the sharp sweet raspberries, the caramelized sugar, the creamy smooth custard, it is lovely. And it's not a big portion, so I wouldn't worry too much about the calories. And then we'll just finish it off uh, with a wee sprig of mint or something. That's it. And that's your vanilla creme brulee with fresh raspberries. You could give it a small dusting with ice and sugar, but it is sweet enough. If the raspberries are a wee bit sharp, yes, some, um, some ice and sugar. And we're going to give it the, you have to hear the crunch. It's important that you hear the crunch in the caramel. That's a good sign. So you just want to try it and if you want to see the custard is nice and smooth, very creamy and nice custard so we'll give it a go. And it pulls fork. It's sweet, it's sharp, crunchy, creamy. It has got everything. And scrape up the vanilla at the bottom. Make sure you don't miss that out. So if you just want to give that one a go, send in a few video or a few well, pictures, videos, whatever. Again, no prizes. Um, perfect after a roast beef dinner on Sunday. Nice and refreshing on a summer's day like that. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Um, please do make it. Um, we'll have another video next week. Thank you. Stay safe.